What's going on, GT? Welcome to TLGGT Live. I'm SVP Aaron Guterman, and uh, here we are. Another 30 minutes together, another Tuesday. And you know what, man? Enough was said yesterday on the TLG Live by our, by our president, Art Leeser. You know, it was, uh, he kind of laid down the smack on complacency and, and where this company's head has been over the last couple of months here. And we know without a shadow of a doubt that we have some of the best producers, some of the top industry producers on this team, and we know what you're capable of. So that's a head check. That's a reality check of what you have been doing to raise up to what we know you can be doing. And uh, you know whether it's 10K, 20K, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70K, all the way to a, a black diamond producer, 100K in personal production a month, we know what you can achieve, you know, if you put your mind to it, if you eliminate distractions and you go after it. See, it's, it's let's get our, some pep in our step and push to three to four sets a day to yield two applications a day. And I guarantee you, if you think that you've had the cash flow glow on a minimal amount of activity, wait till you see what happens when you put your head in the game and you put productivity on the forefront of your, of your thought process and start attacking three to four sets every single day and start writing two applications every single day, it's a game changer. This is what we want for you and we know we could absolutely do it. Big work, big commitments yield big reward. And uh, we're, kind of, we're in it, man, we're, we're in the, the reward season, the, the fourth quarter, this is where most insurance is written, but you've got to put your head down, right? We're coming up into the holiday months where the holidays are already set, but you've got to put the work in to yield the reward of time off later. Guys, it's going to be forced time off, truthfully. That's the way the business works. So if you know there's going to be forced time off, you've got to force time in right now. Get to crack a lack and get to move in. And uh, if you want what the big boys got the big girls got if you want what they got you got to do what they do you will not out earn your lack of activity your lack of focus you will not out earn it if you want big things do big things go after it team atl networking events coming up next week we got 10 days left it's coming up on wednesday next week the 25th if you know in or anybody in or around atlanta georgia we're going to be at Sweetwater Brewery in Buckhead and uh, send them there. Send them on our way. We'll talk to them. We'll introduce them to uh, some of the top producers in the country. We will talk to them about what we do, whether it's you know them coming along full-time or part-time. It's going to be a relaxed setting, but tell them to invite friends, man. We're going to have a ton of people out there. It's going to be awesome. Also, Built More Christmas Contest is in play. We just put up a two-week leaderboard. And uh, Mark Spears leading the way. Congratulations, Mark. Absolutely crushing it. And I know there's a lot of you that are fighting for this one because it's right up your alley. It's Bill Mark. Who doesn't want to go? It's freaking awesome, actually. So make sure that you guys are writing business. Most importantly, checking your pending and issuing your business. Y'all get after it. Let's go over week two, GT, weekly UWAs. We got Karen, uh, Karen Radford, 324 AP, Austin Morales, 324 AP, Chris Beret, 557, Dion Poe, 600, Tia Hayes, 641, Jason Getz, 672, Marissa Dykus, 810, Tanya Parker, 1162. Let's see here, Holly Heiser, 1569, Latif Duncan, 1578. Paul Spala, 1780. Trey Brooks, 1912. Hannah Campbell, 1929. Christina Ward, 1935. Jonathan Trantham, 2433. Lake Savage, Bella Vance, 3066. Van Barnett, 3264. Diane Crump, 3284. Nelson Alvarez, 3483. Zach Rudebeck, 4438. Kim Glass, 47, 57. Claudia McDonald, 55, 68. Jared Leifert, 58, 90. Danielle Leifert, 64, 65. And number one, 
Mark Spear, 15,243. Woo! That ain't a month, that's a week. See, he gets it. He gets what he's doing, and he's absolutely knocking it out, man. Proud of the top five. Again, Kim, Claudia, Jared, Danielle, and Mark, y'all stick around. Listen to the top five. Take some notes. Get some energy. Let's go do big things for the second part of this month, and let's, um, let's put the last two weeks behind us and do what we know we're capable of doing, and that's 10K weeks where my hitter's at. Y'all step up to the plate. Hey there, TOGGT. Second week of October, 2023, Kim Glass coming at you from Wilmington, North Carolina. And I'm direct to Ralph Fiore, direct to Aaron Guterman, direct to Art Leeser. And this week I am your number five with $4,757 submitted annual premium um, and four applications. If this week started out with a little bit of a challenge, I did not know everything I needed to know. Someone left out a little bit of information when I submitted in a CVS Aetna for an 81 year old, but I was able to call my upline and pivot to CFG uh, Classic Elite because I, did, I used the toolkits. I've heard several of y'all recently say, I've got to get that toolkit thing. Yes, y'all do. But also then follow up with calling your upline because it's not 100% accurate, but you will learn so much by putting it in and then over time, you'll get to where you can say, hey, I think maybe I should go with this or that. What do you think? And then your upline will say either, no, I would do this this way or maybe, or they'll be like, yeah, that sounds good. Try that. <laughs> so anyway, I was able to um, get her a policy through, through CFG. They approved it right away. So got her taken care of and now she's got burial expenses, but uh you know, she's happy with that. And I had another challenging one this week that um, came to me wanting, you know, that infinite banking. He wanted Index Universal Life. He wanted something he could use like his own bank. Well, uh, he has a recent felony and the look back time on that is five years. So we're going to have to give that some time. But in the meantime, again, called my upline. I said, hey, look, this is the situation. And I also Googled this person because he seemed to not really know. He's like, I'm not really sure exactly what the charges were, but I told him I needed to know so that that way I could talk to risk assessment and determine what the look back time is. It did not knock him out of being able to get it eventually because of the nature of, of what he did. But we did uh, go with a moo accidental. I, I maxed that out and he is going to get return of premium um, for that. So that's what we went with for now for him. And I'm going to stay in touch with him. But you don't leave things on the table, y'all. Don't be afraid to just get a little uncomfortable and deal with those situations and then turn it into something great. Say, hey, listen, you've got three kids. I've got such a great thing I can show you for them. So I went ahead and did a BAM fam, set up um, IULs through FNG Million Dollar Babies for them, uh, illustrations, and then I met again with him and sold those to him. So, hey, you've got to max out your opportunity, y'all. Ask for referrals. Don't be afraid to get uncomfortable. You call your upline. Utilize our sales tools, <laughs> toolkits, and I love Zepo too and all the things. So, y'all go get it, and I hope to see you all in this top five soon and uh, i hope i i'm going to continue on with this momentum and keep it going so getting that much closer to a trip to Biltmore. Yeah. hey everyone this is claudia mcdonald direct to paul direct to mark direct to um aaron uh this week i'm number four at 5568 and i will say one of the most challenging things for me this week has been getting a hold of clients and getting um, extra requirements in as well and making sure I'm staying on top of that and not passing deadlines. So again, as always, organization of your schedule is absolutely necessary. Um, it's what dictates and runs my life. I, I do not run my life, my calendar runs my life um, and it makes it a lot easier. So I can just look at my calendar, it tells me what to do and I go from there. Um, but yeah, so it's been a good week, got a hold of clients, stayed on top of it, and uh, now we're here. I hope everybody else has a good week too. 
Hey guys, this is Jared Leifert, director Aaron Guterman, who's director Art Leaser. Uh, last week I came in number three for the week uh, with a little over 5,800 AP. Um, a little bit about my week, guys. So I actually, uh, I went out and helped a couple of 80 year olds last week. Uh, you know, sometimes we, we see a lead and we see that they are older and we get concerns like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be too expensive or they're not gonna want it or whatever. Uh, but I went out and uh, this was a direct mail, um, mortgage protection that I went out and helped these folks. Uh, they had just, uh, taken out a home equity line of credit. They had a couple policies in place, uh, both final expense. One was Forrester's from back like in 2013, uh, plan right. So they were both super healthy, but I just built the value in mortgage payment protection. Uh, they had those policies in place for their final expenses, so I built the value on mortgage payment protection. Uh, we got the policies out and looked at them. They weren't what they thought they were. They thought they had more than they did. So we got them out and looked at them. You guys, you have to lay eyes on the policies. Nobody, I repeat, nobody knows what they have. They think one thing, but when you look at it, it's obviously something else. Um, so we were able to put, I believe it was in either nine or 12 months worth of mortgage payment protection. It wasn't a huge death benefit. It was like eight to 10 grand, but it would of death benefit each, but it was over 2,800 AP because they saw the value. Don't shop with your bank account. Okay, guys? Show them the options, educate, show them the value. And when value exceeds price, people are going to buy. So that's what I'll encourage you with today. Guys, be consultants. Find the need. It's not just about the mortgage amount. It's not just about how much they requested for their insurance coverage online. That's not what it's about. It's about being a consultant, being a professional, getting in there and finding the need. Danielle has a great saying that says, hey, it's not my job to get you the, the most insurance, but it's my job to help fill the gap. And that's all we're trying to do, guys. We have to know what people have so we can fill the gap. So ask great questions. Become a professional. Understand basic finances. You know, understand basic budget. These people had a healthy budget. They were both healthy. They were both instant approved. All right. And uh, one was with uh, Mutual of Omaha, one was with CFG, and they paid like the next day. So guys, be a professional. Find the need educate, and let people choose what works for them. Back to you. Bye. Hey, y'all. Danielle Leifert here, director Jared Leifert, director Aaron Guterman, and then to Art Leeser. I'm number two for the week, over 6,400 AP. And my week was absolutely incredible because of this particular client. Um, I was doing a dial session and getting no, 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 no. And he was a yes. I was so excited because I could feel myself being like, okay, I'm getting a little frustrated, you know, but progress equals happiness. So um, I met with him, 31 year old from North Carolina, served in the Navy for 13 years now. Uh, he moved to Tennessee. Uh, children is four and 10. They're back home with his parents as they're taking care of his children while he's in uh, stationed in Tennessee. Um, he's like, no meds. I'm great. Um, I really want this protection. When w it was sent in the mail, I saw critical chronic terminal illness. Uh, those are all the things that I want. I want to make sure my kids are taken care of if anything were to happen to me. I'm like, great. Uh, we submitted an application auto decline and I was like what in the world because when I do the medical analysis I stress to the client 
you are based on your qualifications are based on what you're advising me and then underwriting of the carrier is going to go through your prescription and medical history so it's better you tell me now because you're going to find it they find anything and he said no i'm good i'm not taking any medication nothing like that uh, no treatment and so i came back to him and i said Hey, so they're seeing a specific medication, maybe that was just filled or it's been filled, um, but even though you're not taking it, um, it would help. Um, so I could see what that is, so I can just look into the carriers that would approve you given that medication. He's like, well, I do take a medication as needed, but I haven't taken it yet. And I said, okay, what's that medication? Well, that medication was for nausea and specific to cancer uh, patient undergoing treatment. And I advised him of that. And right when I did that, 31 year old man broke down and cried. And his name, I said his name, I said, what's going on? And I build so much rapport with my clients so I can talk with them like a family, like a family member. I'm like what's going on? He's like, the doctor has me undergoing tests in a few weeks. Uh, they gave me this medication because I'm feeling lightheaded and dizzy and I take it as needed when I need it. But my doctor thinks I have lymphoma. And I said, well, does your doctor think or has he advised you? And he said, I'm in denial. I'm far away from my family. I'm serving this country and protecting it. I, I can't go through treatment this can't be happening like he was in denial and it's an amazing powerful story because we were able to meet at a level of hey this is bigger than i am it's bigger than all the no's or even the yeses or even the sales what we're doing is serving and it's quality and we're changing people's lives and i said hey you being 31 year old you know the most likely regardless of you you know going through treatment uh he advised me uh in a few weeks uh, undergoing treatment um is hey you're gonna pass away of an accident or bodily injury that's just how it goes in our age bracket um that's the best i can do for you right now you being 31 years old I couldn't even give him a great western um but let's talk about your 10 and your four year old you want to make sure that they have a life where no matter what happens, you're taking care of them. And I know medical costs is your main concern. If for whatever reason, you know, they come back um, about the cancer diagnosis and it really is this and this, um, with all this uncertainty, we can get them in a plan that number one, covers them of anything for the rest of their life um, also, we can structure it to where they have income in the future and access that cash. But you being the owner, you can access that cash too if you ever need it for any emergency room. A lot of any emergency or medical costs, a lot of parents love this for children for, you know, paying for a wedding in the future um, or buying a house, you know, that they can leave a legacy for their kids. Um, but this is the best plan for them uh, and you're able to access to it if you need it. And he's like, let's do it. And the thing is like plan A was, let's get your life insurance, make sure you're good. But when plan A doesn't work out, a lot of times plan B is actually better and provides quality. Because if we didn't have all of these carriers available to us, I would have to go back to him and say, hey, you're uninsurable right now. We gotta wait. Um, but the thing is, I was able to serve that client. And when we go into the posture of serving them and making sure their household is taken care of, well, it puts you back in your mind into perspective that, hey, this is bigger than me doing a dial session and, and getting nose. This is bigger to me than not making that sale or the AP that I wanted at the outcome of that week it's bigger than your temporary feeling. So I'd encourage you today and this week moving forward, view it at that standpoint versus, hey, I need to get this AP to get on the books to make that sale because what we're doing is bigger than that. All right, y'all, let's have a great week.
What's up, GT? Mark Spear, director Aaron Gruderman, director Art Leeser, coming at you from Youngsville, North Carolina. Uh, last week, I finished up in the number one position for 13 applications, $15,234 annual premium. And last week for me was, um, was really about mortgage payment protection. And that was, uh, you know, people over the age of 60 to 70, um, you know, with some medical conditions and trying to look for the right amount of coverage. And it turned into trying to find them six months, 12 months, 18 months worth of coverage. And this is a skill that uh, takes a little bit of time to master, but uh, it's really about telling stories that can connect you with the client. Uh, and one of the stories that I use, I want to talk about because this happened last year. I wrote a gentleman in July of last year and he passed away in September. He was very stubborn. He didn't see the need for insurance. But when I asked him the question, you know, who would be the beneficiary? He said his brother. Um, I said, would your brother Carl have enough money to put that home for sale and get full equity? You know, maybe it was three months to six months worth of mortgage payments that he would need in order to sell that home for full value and get the $200,000 in equity that was in the home. And that would be the backup insurance plan. And he said, no, he would not be able to afford it. And I said, so now you see why it is so important to make sure that we are protecting that equity. Well, I just don't need to add that other bill, he said. And I said, it's not a bill. It is an investment into the future of your brother who is going to be your beneficiary and who is going to inherit that home or that debt. Uh, so it's really about what kind of position do you want to leave your brother in when you do pass? Would you like him to be able to sell that home and get the full equity and be able to have $200,000 to live off of uh, and take care of all your other affairs? Or would you like it to go into foreclosure and leave your brother in the exact same position that he's in? Um, to which at that point he wrote the application, but the problem was he passed away. I wrote him in July and he passed away in September of a sudden heart attack. Now his brother called me and he, he had thanked me up and down because he found my license, he found my phone number, uh, he found my email address just like I had instructed the client to do and put it with his policy and he did just that. And that's why the brother called me and we began the death claim process. So I tell these, this story to you know, ex, you know, potential clients when I'm doing mortgage payment protection and they get to see how important it is because again, it just happened. It's a real life situation. Um, this is what able, uh, allows me to connect to the client just a little bit more to get them to see uh, how important it is to protect that home with at least six months, 12 months, or 18 months. I hope that helps everybody out um, and let's go crush the rest of the month. I'll see you guys next week.